Over the years, the Onondaga County War Memorial has hosted major events, from the NBA Finals to Grateful Dead concerts. On Monday, the Syracuse Crunch hosted the American Hockey League All-Star Classic for the second time in their 22-year history. When it came time to select a venue for the festivities, the AHL decided to embrace Syracuse's rich hockey tradition. Crunch play-by-play -play broadcaster Dan Duva, who called the game on TV, says Syracuse made the most sense in terms of hosting the event. The American Hockey League had sought out the Crunch for this particular All-Star Classic because Syracuse won the first AHL championship in 1937, this the 80th season for the league. They wanted to go to an original city. Not only did the All-Star Game attract fans from Central New York, but it also brought in people from around the nation. After the skills competition on Sunday, I was walking down the concourse well after the event was over and came across a mom, dad, and their two sons who had Portland Pirates jerseys on. And I asked them if they enjoyed the event. And they said they, they really did. They got autographs, so happy to meet Robbie Shrimp and Mike McKenna and Brendan Gaunt, the, the Portland Pirates. And, uh, and they were so honored to, uh, to be here to represent the Pirates. And I asked, did you come all the way from Portland? They said, oh, of course. We wouldn't miss it. Over the years, the Crunches formed a partnership with the Crown Plaza. This week, the hotel hosted the players and media as well as some fans from out of town. There were people traveling in just for this event. Um, and for example, I spoke with one woman in the lobby as I was floating around all weekend who has made it to the past 13 All-Star events. The Syracuse Crunch have not been afraid to host large-scale community events. From the Frozen Dome to the AHL All-Star Game, the Crunch have showed a commitment to the fans of Central New York and of the American Hockey League in bringing the biggest and best entertainment to Syracuse, New York. Reporting live from the On Center, Logan Raddick, NCC News.